Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play series. I hope everybody is having a great day today. I am doing great. I'm feeling refreshed. I just got back from a little break that I took over the holiday, and I hope you guys had a great holiday as well. Man, I've got an awesome episode planned for you guys, but before we do that, we gotta get into our question of the day. So now that you've had some time to play the Caves and Cliffs update in full, I'm curious, what are some things that you like about this update and what are some things that you dislike about this update? Let me know down in the comment section below. And I'm curious, with the new year coming, is there any resolutions that you guys are really looking forward to? Because me, I'm just trying to become the best builder I possibly can. So let me know what yours is as well. But I think we should get into the video. So to get started with today's episode, I literally just got back from mining. I spent about two hours mining in the world and I found a lot of goodies. So let me eat some food. Check it out, guys. Full inventory of awesome stuff here. Now, what I'm going to do is like in the first episode, by the way, we found spruce. Holy crap. Really excited about it. And we found dark oak, which is awesome. But all of that is in the mining video that will be linked in the description below, like in the first episode. It is about two hours long. All of this stuff is on there. So I hope you enjoy that if you're into that kind of long watch stuff. But right now we have got to hook our man Dashy up. Whew. Look at my dude, Dashy. You are looking snazzy, pal. But one thing that happened during the mining session is that our armor got absolutely annihilated. I only have our diamond chest plate left, and even that has like no durability left. So let's put this stuff away because we need to get some stuff crafted up. I'm gonna quickly get uh, new armor made up and then head over to our zombie spawner. By the way, one thing I wanna quickly mention, now there hasn't been a lot of people accusing me of cheating, but after kind of watching the videos back, I can kind of see what you mean. So I'm going to try to do better to convey the things that I do in the world so it doesn't feel like that. And I think that's just the disconnect of that. Um, but everything that I've done in the world so far is legit. And I'm not like trying to convince you or anything like that. I was just kind of I kind of realized I'm like, you know, I did a lot of stuff in the first episode and it kind of seems a little off. And another thing that I want to quickly mention is that the urge to take over the world is real like i really want to do these really big like technical projects as well as building and so with the upcoming episodes i'm gonna try my best to do balance in both of those but uh with it being so early game i didn't want to like do things so super fast that it felt so boring like oh technical minecraft spawner stuff you know like that's no fun so i'm gonna try to balance both of those out evenly anyways let's go enchant stuff So now that we are done wasting all of our time enchanting, that was so bad. Look, unbreaking, protection four is pretty good. Uh, unbreaking protection, unbreaking, unbreaking. I don't know what happened, but the other day I got all fortune and then all of a sudden I've got all unbreaking. Pretty terrible stuff. The first thing we're gonna be doing today though is actually getting revenge on the nether. I've got a new strategy. I've done a lot of research on how to find this fortress a little bit easier and I'm gonna show you that when we get into the nether. I just need to grab probably a little bit more food and we're gonna go in there now. All right, everybody, we are now in the nether and ready to go. Brought some extra blocks with me and some extra food. We're gonna use speedrun wizard magic to find this fortress. Well, at least get us in the area of where this fortress is. 
we're gonna use minecraft's pie chart which is like one of the most underrated things in the game i i would say so what i've done is i've logged out well i changed our render distance it is down to the lowest it can go on two logged out logged back in we're here now i'm gonna hit shift f3 and then on our pie chart here um all i'm going to do let me make sure that i'm looking out in the void here there we go so down on that graph there there's all these little numbers and things labeled next to it we're looking for tick on your game it's going to be a little bit different but in mine it's number four so on the keypad number four next up we have all these things again this time we're looking for level so i'm gonna hit one and now i'm going to hit five for block entities so there's nothing in the two render distance that we have set so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to hit f3 and f at the same time and i'm going to start toggling our render distance until it picks something up i have no idea where this thing is if it's here uh, hopefully it's in the 32 distance range that would be pretty fantastic because i'm not trying to you know travel thousands of blocks <laughs> to find a fortress so we're at 10 11 12 oh okay we got a chest now don't get too excited that chest could be a ruined portal could be a bastion let's keep looking 14 15 16 okay we've got a mob spawner at 16 chunks so 16 chunks is about 260 blocks ish um now one thing you got to keep in mind is this it doesn't really tell us like which direction to go but i'll talk to you about that in a second but what we do know is that at 16 chunks in a circle around us there's a mob spawner the chances of that being a fortress are pretty good because we we know that we've been to one bastion already and it didn't have the magma cube spawner although that bastion was pretty far away this could still be a bastion so what we're going to do now is think about the location of the bastion the bastion that we found was at negative 300 negative 500 so what you do in speedrunning when you're trying to find the next closest thing well for one you can use entity count which is up here in the corner but you can also just do next quadrant what does that mean well when you spawn in minecraft there's four blocks right around the player imagine you're in the center right here so if the bastion's here we need to check one of these right all right so i'm about negative 250 350 we're a little bit further than that obviously you can see on the screen but i have not found anything yet so i think the southwest option was a bust i am going to go back and do northeast now but i've got to go all the way back and then travel the 250 blocks so anyways i'm gonna keep looking i found it look how beautiful it is Oh, I've never been so excited to find another fortress in my life um, Bridged up. There's lots of baddies after me. I'm probably just gonna bridge over but um, yeah So the southwest direction did not really was it southwest northeast. Yeah, so southwest did not really work out for me I went about 300 blocks in each direction that way and then came back this way to find this thing Yay, ah, oh, that's so exciting. All right. So the game plan here is to hopefully find enough chests to make a nether portal and then nether portal to the overworld so we know exactly where to go oh it's so beautiful look at it so what we need to do I'll, i need to kill blazes and stuff we can do that right now but uh i need to find the entrance to the actual loot part of it oh give me the blaze rod i'm so excited don't die now jevin Hey, don't all right so i found the entrance to the tunnels let's get looking i heard oh i heard wither skeletons must be up top but i need all of this this is the other thing that we were looking for to make our potions very exciting grab all that i'm also going to grab all of this now the next game plan that we need to to accomplish here we need to find enough obsidian because i didn't think to bring it because i'm not smart 
<laughs> but we need to find enough obsidian to get ourselves another portal. Hopefully there is enough here, but if I have to walk back, I will. It's not a big deal. But I'm banking on the fact that obsidian spawns pretty generously in these, these fortresses. So let's get looking and see what we can find. All right, I spoke way too soon. Look at all these chests, right? <laughs> Insane. But you know what's funny about it? Not a single piece of obsidian. What kind of karmic bad luck did I get today to deserve this game? I'm a good person. I don't deserve this. All right, I'm going to keep looking. You know, I don't think that's going to pass OSHA regulation, but it got the job done. All right, we got back to the base. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find any obsidian. I just got done killing some spiders and made myself some potions of weakness. Now I'm gonna turn those into splash potions of weakness because we are gonna be doing some villager conversions today. Now I have plans for a very big grand trading hall, but I can't do that yet because the you know order of processes in Minecraft. Like today's video, well, the one of the reasons why it's taking so long to come out is because I was actually planning on doing another project, but I realized very quickly that I couldn't do the project that I wanted to do because I didn't have certain things in the game. So this is why we're doing what we're doing today. All right, we've got our splash potions of weakness. We will need our uh, golden apples. There we go, fantastic. Now I'm gonna head over to the first village we found because we are gonna get some villagers converted today. Uh, which means I also will need a name tag. So grab that. I will name this like, uh, you know what? I'm not even sure that I'm gonna need to do that. I'm gonna save my name tag. I might be able to get away without it. Anyways, enchantments that I'm looking for today are mending, efficiency five, unbreaking, uh, looting basically the most important ones in the game <laughs> just do it like that what i am going to do is i'm going to keep track of how many uh attempts it's going to take me to get what i need so i also need to craft a lectern so i'll get that crafted up and meet you over at the village so i'm on my way over to the village and i am where we very first started this is sort of our spawn location and the reason why i'm showing you this is because i'm looking for emeralds right now and I'm looking for emeralds because obviously, oh my God, that scared me. Oh, oh my Lord, I literally just jumped. Anyways, point of this little clip is I, um, <laughs> I got so sidetracked. There's so much iron here, guys. I was looking for emeralds. I found five, but I have three stacks of iron already and I have literally done nothing. This is not going well. I'm gonna go to the village now. So I'm over at the village now and I have moved all of the villagers that we saved into the pen. Very easy thing to do. Just grab a bell, remove all of the beds from the village and then ring the bell. So all I've done is I've placed beds in here and the villagers track to them. Now there's not enough beds in there for them to breed, which works perfect. But before we can do anything else, we want to secure our villagers down. Easiest way to do this and still be able to get village uh, or books is to make boats. So I'm going to use some boats here and I can actually remove these beds too. We got to be careful not to hit anything because that would that would not go well. <laughs> no, that would not go well at all. I think the golem would probably attack me pretty quickly. All right, those two are good to go. So I don't even know if I'm even going to use this village as where we do our villager trading because I have another village in mind that'll work much better. So I think that might be a better idea. Guy, are you not gonna move? Okay, go, 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 there we go, perfect. So now that that's done, I need to make, this iron golem is making me real nervous, all right? So now I need to make some books, make a book, so make a bookshelf, and then there and that will make a lectern. So I've been trying to think about how I wanna do this, and I think I'm going to do a time-lapse of me doing this because I wanna show how long it's gonna take. Initially, I was gonna do some sort of counter, but I'm not really that great of an editor, and I don't know how to do that. Um, I was just thinking of maybe manually counting and then speeding it up. So that's kind of the idea. Man, talk about sloppy gameplay. 
uh, because I played so badly, I made a lot of mistakes, which I will go over in just a second. I'm going to add that footage onto the end of the mining video, which is the unlisted video for today. It'll be in the description. Check that out. Uh, first mistake. Number one, made Unbreaking 2 instead of Unbreaking 3. That sucks. Didn't bring enough paper. Didn't bring enough gold. Had to go to the nether to get gold. Didn't bring an extra apple. Just lots of dumb mistakes. Frustrated, need, need, needless to say. So we are ready to convert, but I need to find a zombie really quickly before I can do that. I And the one mob that I do need is just like nowhere to be found. It's awesome. So I've got a zombie in the cage and somehow, so he's targeting them instead or he's targeting me instead of them so i need to break the bounding box of this guy get rid of that and then i need to run away so that he'll start attacking the the mobs okay so now that the villagers are covered i need to kill this other zombie really quickly so get rid of this guy there we go so i'm not gonna well the farmer might interest me but mainly i just want to do my four guys for the books so I think I can probably get away with two potions, one for them. And then, oh, it got all of them. Wow, that's got a lot of range. Holy crap. Uh, it looks like this guy didn't get it. There we go. So you, 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 you. Alright, I am back. I went to the spawner and got books like you saw. Also went and picked up all the rest of the hay bales that I had at the base. I'm going to go ahead and just blast through these trades real fast and see how many I can get. So uh, we maxed out at 16. I will put this guy's table down in hopes that maybe he'll refresh really fast. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, looks like he's got one emerald pumpkin trades. Cool. Uh, next up. So we need mending, but we've, like I said, we've only got 11 books. We need to think about what we want to put mending on armor. Meh. The things that I'm like really, really want to, uh, like want to enchant and have mending on, I, you know, I just realized, did I lose? I was going to say, did I lose my sword? I didn't lose my sword. Okay, cool. Not totally losing it today, by the way, but, uh, sword and two pickaxes would be ideal so for now i'm gonna do just i think i'll do two pickaxes that seems the most important to me so this is looting three we definitely got to get one of those um and then let's see what's left we have unbreaking two and 26 for efficiency five now personally i would love two of these efficiency five books but I don't think that's going to happen. So I'm just going to go for the one. Don't really have an option anyways. Um, so those are the probably the best enchants that I can get right now. So the game plan is to do some some more enchanting. I want to get Silk Touch, uh, hopefully with a low level efficiency or something like that so we can add it on. I uh, want to get a Silk Touch pickaxe made up and I need to get a new sword made up because we're heading back to the nether. That's right. Back at the base, I'm just grabbing some food, gonna make a new shield, and we're off to the nether to kill wither skeletons. So for the record, I have killed four. <laughs> I've killed four wither skeletons. So that'll tell us how many we had to kill to get the skulls that we need. Going for three, but if I end up getting more cool, I'm gonna put the wither skeleton footage 
uh the whole entire thing on the end of the unlisted video by the time this video is done that unlisted video is literally going to be like four hours long so i hope you enjoy that anyways i'm gonna go use some killing now so i'm in the fortress and i just died i probably killed maybe 10 it was pretty bad i may have to look for another fortress i think we only killed 14 yeah so i will show you the death now i may need to mute it though because i was listening to a movie <laughs> while i was playing so i'm not sure if it's going to need to be muted or not so here's that So I have recovered my items. I got my helmet and my leggings back, lost my chest plate, lost my boots, lost my sword, which was a huge loss, but I did get my pickaxes back. So it's not all bad. I'm looking at the positives. I will need to craft new gear. Let's uh, do that now. Put all this up and put this up and get rid of you. All right, so we need to get diamonds, do that. Uh, so let's see, we need do I have a shovel? I do have a shovel. All right. I will most likely just enchant that shovel so I don't have to waste another diamond. So two diamonds for a new sword. And then we need a chest plate and leggings. So unfortunately, I am going to have to pretty much get back to where I was. Now, I don't know how I want to do this, but I am over using that zombie spawner. That thing is really, really bad. I suppose the only thing I really should enchant is just my sword again. So I'm going to try to get level 30 and get the another looting enchantment. I think it was what, 13 emeralds, which I think we can probably just get from the farmer. So I know today's video has been all over the place, but I do promise we are actually going to do something today, which is weird considering everything that we have done. We're making an iron golem farm. Actually, we're making a quad iron golem farm. It's gonna be pretty rad. I think you guys are gonna like it a lot. So the first thing we've got to do to make our farm a reality is to breed our villagers. Now, we only need 12 villagers. That is a pretty easy thing. And like I said, this, uh, these villagers, the trading villagers that we got earlier today, they are or were temporary. Hey, guy, where are you going? You guys need to come back down here for me, please. You jerks. All of the beds are down here. You don't have to stand up there and be cool. You're better than that. So um, I have 16 emeralds. I may actually have a few more in here, four more, and then I have a few books. So I will probably trade with them, but first I have to get these jerk faces back in the in the, in the the thingy. All right, you, you're not cooperating here, guys. I need you to go. You're, you're really gonna make me ring the bell, aren't you? You're gonna make, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna ring the bell. It's, this, is, this is your doing, okay? Your fault, totally. So to, to breed the villagers, we just need the equal amount of beds that we need and then any food that we can scrap, crap, scrap, crap, crap, scrap, words. I don't know. They're hard. I give up on the whole word thing. I'm not a big fan of it. I never have been. All right. So let's, uh, let's get some food in the pin here. Throw those two in there. They should pick them up yes and i will i'm gonna try to be a little bit careful with the bread though because i don't want to waste all of the wheat that i have so let's do i'll do like 32 let's uh take like half of that out of there there we go all right so we'll give them this and then they will get breeding so we've already got uh what five villagers so i would imagine getting 12 villagers won't be that hard now i uh i die a lot but when i don't die i need mending <laughs> so i think what i'm probably going to do is spend uh, you know what i really do need looting and looting was like what 13 that's expensive man yeah they act like i'm i'm rich or something over here what's going on 14 all right i'm gonna buy this and then i'm gonna spend the rest of these books on mending so efficiency will just have to wait um 
One of these guys is mending. Anyways, mending, there we go. Boom, six mending books. I will mend everything that I possibly can and get these guys all bred up, bred up. So it makes them sound like a chicken breast. Unfortunately, I thought that I had more name tags. I may have lost some, I'm not really sure. I need four name tags, I have three. I don't have enough emeralds. So right now I am out looking for another village, trying to find any loot I can get my hands on, things like that. Just a slow, slow day. <laughs> I think this Acacia village wins the record for longest village that's ever existed. Starts up on the hill, actually over there, and then it goes all the way over to the water. All right, so villagers are breeding. Things are going well inside the pen here. I think we have, what, nine total villagers. Couldn't find a, a name tag while I was exploring. So I have been working on getting our mending guy to master. So first off, mending for one, sharpness two for one, infinity for one, looting three for 14. Pretty crazy. Not only that, but this ink trade. Oh, so good. I love it. Look at how good this villager is. Give me mastery, please. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. My throat. All right. So is he going to be a mastery now? Are you mastery, good sir? Good sir. You are, and it's only 13. Finally, awesome. So now I just uh, need to get the rest of the villagers, which is fine because we need to build the farm anyways. So I hope you guys enjoy the time lapse. So moving the villagers has pretty much turned into a total disaster. It's not all bad though, because while a bunch of them got away, cause I opened the gate to move one and all of them ran out, which was awesome. And I, I hate it. Oh. Where did you guys come from? You were not up there five seconds ago. You're filthy liars. All right, well, here's what we're gonna do. Because all of a sudden the villagers decided that they were back, I am going to try to get the rest of them in the pins. So here's what I've got so far. I've pretty much got two in each pin. Uh, everything else is really just finished. I mean, I just need to get these guys up here. Once I get them up here, I can, I can move them no problem. 
So let me ring this bell again. And no idea where those villagers went to because like four seconds ago, they were not there. Maybe they were like glitching out or something. Who knows? No idea where that other guy is going. They should see this bed and run to it. Uh, I may need to open up the cavity into the villager pins again so that I can get them in there. Mm, it looks like they're kind of running towards the right spots here. All right, let's move this bed. And then I guess we should probably, I should probably just do this one at a time. So basically I'm just gonna break this open and then try to push these guys in there. This is, this has been a total disaster, by the way. Oh my God, what a video guys. Okay, so this villager pin is now finished. I will need to get more cobblestone, but I've just got to get the rest of them in there. So this zombie right here is the last one. I had to wait pretty much an entire day cycle to get the last one up here. I had another one and there was an iron golem that spawned on the scaffolding here and pretty much killed it. What I am excited to look for though, is to see how much iron our farm has made from just that day and then the rest of this night cycle. So it's, I would say it's been almost two days since this thing has started running. The plan to get the zombies in the hole here actually works quite well. And oh, we got, we got action cooking already. All right, so I'm just gonna jump in like right here. The second that he falls in, I'm going to boat out. There we go, pretty simple stuff, right? And then, oh, I forgot to put slabs in there. I will have to get the slabs in there. I should probably do that really quickly. Let me, I gotta break some of this out of here cause it's, they're half slabs here and half slabs here. There we go, place those in there, get rid of this. And I do need to get back up there. So let me do that real fast. All right, uh, did I name him? I did not name him. Let me name him real fast. Mr. Zombie, you are number four. There we go, zombie number four is in the pen. Perfect. All right, so really the only thing left to do is to get rid of this. And then I need to remove all of this nonsense. Let me do that real fast. Okay, so gonna quickly grab some of my cobblestone. I hate wasting blocks now. I see myself as more of a builder now, right? And one thing that has done to me is in terms of playing Minecraft, I think like I need to collect this block so I can use it to build rather than I need to collect this resource to use it to farm. It's a totally different mindset, man. It kind of throws me off a little bit sometimes. So like I said, this farm, has been running, I would say almost at this point, like two full days, like in Minecraft time. I'm gonna turn the sound, I guess that would be friendly creatures. Let's just get rid of that. And I'm gonna go ahead and empty my inventory. There we go. By the way, I died like six times making this farm. All right, so let's take a look at statistics, mobs. So I have been killed by one drowned um, died to a trident, I believe. One Enderman, one Hoglin. I've been killed by two Iron Golems. I thought I died more than that, but I guess I didn't. Piglin Brew killed me two times. I guess that's it, huh? All right, well, I feel like I died more than that, but oh well. Uh, so the only thing we have really left to do, but I don't, doesn't look like I have any wood here to finish this. So, 64 Iron. And then there's probably more filtering in. So I'll let it do its thing for a moment. I would say that's a pretty good day's work, man. Anything else? Nope. So in the two game days that it ran, we got nearly a stack and a half of iron. Uh, this thing is not perfect. We are missing the one villager. Now, I'm not sure if that villager will cause us to get uh, less golem spawns. I'm not really sure. But uh, if you don't know this already, golems spawn in 30 second intervals. So 
Uh, I'm actually gonna turn the sound back on. Turn that back on. There we go. So you can hear I'm dying right now. But this thing is cooking now. Uh, I've got a lot of other work to do here. I've got to clean this place up, man. I made a mess. I uh, gotta fix everything up. Get all of my items back to our main base. Stay organized. That's the plan. But that is going to do it uh, for today's episode. So Iron Golem was farm was a success. I'm gonna do an official test for next episode. One hour um to see how much we get so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did maybe consider subscribing otherwise i hope everybody has a lovely day this is ijevin peace out everybody